This is ABC 7 News at 5.30. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Welcome back. The city of Northport is cleaning up a local skate park after a vandal spray painted derogatory words on the park's bathroom. According to a city spokesman, vandalism has become a growing problem at the parks, and because of that, they're turning to technology to keep a watchful eye on public places. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us now with what this at security entails. Christopher? And good evening from that park. Police say right in this bathroom here, a 38-year-old man spray-painted everything from bad words to a swastika, and now they're considering adding security cameras to the park. I can't tell you how much it ruined my day when I found out yesterday. Local skater Mike Drumgool was not happy when he found out the skate park he frequents had been vandalized. Someone wrote derogatory words and symbols on the walls and floor. The message that was trying to be conveyed with those types of uh, symbols on the wall, it's just horrible. What really got people's attention was not a word, but a symbol of hate, a swastika. This is the man police believe is the artist, 38-year-old James Williams. He was arrested for criminal mischief and possession of marijuana. But a lot of friends. That it's an adult. Oh, it, it was it, it was extremely frustrating that it was an adult. Drumgool assumed it had been teenagers with too much time on their hands. After all, it's not like the bathroom walls had been free of graffiti before this incident. Consistently, we have graffiti and other things, uh, you know, vandalized at parks. It took over nine and a half hours for City of Northport staff to remove the paint from the park, and there's still more work to do. Different parks have already received cameras, and this particular park is also slated for cameras. But cameras are not cheap. In similar parks, they've cost the city $10,000. Drumgool, a former graffiti artist himself, believes he knows a way to keep people from constantly spray painting the walls, have a community gathering, and allow some local artists to create a mural. Most artists are going to respect someone else's art. Uh, and I think as skaters here, nobody would want to do no more of that if they saw something really great in there. No word yet if the city likes the idea of painting a mural inside these bathrooms. Two other city parks do have security cameras already, but we don't know exactly when security cameras might be installed out here. Live in Northport, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Christopher. If you're looking to get a flight to Los Angeles soon or maybe take a quick trip to Vegas, you're in luck. Spirit Airlines announcing it will launch daily nonstop service from Tampa International Airport to Los Angeles and Las Vegas. A low cost carrier will begin both routes in April and plans to operate the daily service year round. American Airlines is scrambling to find pilots to operate thousands of flights over the busy Christmas holiday after a glitch in their system messed up crew schedules. Spokesman for a, the airline says American expected to, expects to avoid canceling flights by paying overtime and then using reserve pilots. American isn't saying how many flights are affected, but the pilots union says that about 15,000 flights were scheduled without a captain, a co-pilot, or both. Wow. Kind of tough to have a flight. No one there to fly it. Right, exactly. And I saw they're looking to pay any pilot up to $1.5,000 to help alleviate some of those problems. Yeah, so okay. we'll see how it plays out. Well, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at your first alert forecast. Well, Tower right now is showing the sun is set and it looking pretty good out there. Fair skies for the most part. We are looking at the possibility of some patchy fog, but other than that, uh, not much else going on. It's really quite nice out there. and We're looking for uh, temperatures to stay uh, basically above average over the upcoming days. Currently, it's 75 degrees, or I should say into the mid to upper 70s across the area as a result, again, of this high pressure ridge. And it looks as though we won't see much change over the upcoming days as a result of, again, fair skies and high pressure overhead. Uh, we'll have much more on the forecast uh, coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. North Korea remains undeterred in its ambition to become a nuclear state. The authoritarian regime conducting another test after China sent its highest level delegation to the country in two years and as the United States continues military exercises with South Korea. ABC's Serena Marshall has more. In the dead of night, South Korea with offensive drills, letting North Korea know they can't be intimidated. Firing three missiles in the precision strike drill minutes after the latest test from their authoritarian neighbors. The North Korean intercontinental ballistic missile flew longer and higher than any previous test. 
traveling a distance 10 times the height of the International Space Station for more than 50 minutes. That allow it to reach the U.S.'s eastern seaboard. The North Korean government claims it's now achieved its goal of becoming a nuclear state. Certainly, a uh, nuclear-free peninsula is a, is a goal that we should have, but that's going to take a long time. They don't have a suicide wish. They want to live. And so that's why they have this, this deterrent, is because they, want, they think that's the only thing that can keep them uh, safe from uh, U.S. Uh, you know, intervention or attack as we've done elsewhere. This morning, President Trump and Chinese President Xi speaking by phone. The White House in a statement saying the president wanted China to put more pressure on the regime. Following that call, Mr. Trump tweeted, additional major sanctions will be imposed on North Korea today. This situation will be handled. We're going to protect our country, whether it's North Korea or any, but we're going to protect our country like never before. The U.N. Security Council hosting an emergency session, and for the first time since the Cold War. Hawaii has resumed testing its nuclear attack warning sirens. North Korea claims this is a new type of intercontinental ballistic missile, but U.S. officials tell ABC News it could take weeks for them to confirm that. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has announced several new steps to help the country fight the opioid crisis. Sessions announcing a new Drug Enforcement Administration division overseeing Kentucky, Tennessee and West Virginia. That division will help law enforcement fight illicit drug traffic trafficking in the Appalachians. In addition, millions of dollars in grants will be awarded to law enforcement in states dealing with serious opioid problems. Grants will also go to state agencies that have seized drug chemicals in labs. There's no word yet if Florida will be a recipient of one of those grants. Florida's Elections Commission is waiving a hefty $110,000 fine placed on the Republican Party of Florida. State officials levied that fine in October after the party turned in a campaign finance report 11 days late. Party officials called it an oversight and appealed that decision. An attorney for the party told the commission that state officials waited days before officially notifying the party that that report was late. Well, this weekend, downtown Sarasota will host the annual holiday parade right down Main Street. The parade will begin at Main and US 301 in downtown Sarasota and will end at J.D. Hamill Park at Main Street and Gulfstream Avenue. There will be several vehicle tow-away zones and street closure notices in effect for the following times. From 7 a.m. on Saturday until 12.30 a.m. on Sunday, Main Street will be closed from US 301 to US 41. From noon on Saturday until 12.30 a.m. on Sunday, Fletcher Avenue will also be closed from Main Street to Fruitville Road. And from 2.30 p.m. Saturday until 12.30 a.m. on Sunday, Lemon Avenue will be closed from 1st Street to Main Street. The Downtown Holiday Parade will start at 7 p.m. You can find a full list of closures on our website at mysuncoast.com. A local nonprofit is giving back to the community, helping those in need. Goodwill Minnesota encouraging shoppers to buy their holiday sweaters secondhand and then decorate their finds. They're calling it their ugly Christmas sweater challenge. Once you decorate the sweater, you're asked to post a photo of wearing it on the Goodwill Minnesota Facebook page and send it to us here at ABC7. We'd love to see those creations as well. Just post it on our Facebook page. And don't forget, iPhone, iPad users need to download the new version of the ABC7 News app. The old one will expire tomorrow, meaning you'll no longer get the latest news from our community delivered right to your iPhone. Just search for WWSB or My Suncoast in your app store. And Android users, though, will get the update automatically. And, of course, a lot of ABC7 uh, people will be out at the holiday parade as well. Oh, on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah that's right. Still to come on your Suncoast News, a threat to children that lingers into adulthood. A look at the latest statistics on childhood obesity coming up next. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Being the caregiver for my husband is truly a blessing, but sometimes it's easy to lose a part of myself. To be my best, for him and for me, it's important to have time to be able to recharge. When I called Tidewell Hospice, they gave me the chance to do just that. They helped me find the time to care for myself, all the while with the peace of mind of knowing my husband is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do 
you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Do you have type 2 diabetes, which requires daily blood monitoring? If you have diabetes, are you on Medicare, Obamacare, or other health insurance? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for diabetic testing supplies at little to no out-of-pocket cost to you. Our accredited staff will handle all of your paperwork for free. And best of all, your diabetic testing supplies are shipped directly to your home for free. Call now to see if you qualify for a meter upgrade and a free pedometer to monitor your daily walking. Use alternate testing sites, a smaller blood sample, and even hear your results out loud. Will you qualify for diabetic testing supplies and an upgraded meter? covered by Medicare, Obamacare, or health insurance at little to no out-of-pocket cost to you? Find out for free by calling the Diabetes Resource Center at 1-800-394-1098. That's 1-800-394-1098. 1-800-394-1098. Army National Guard soldiers serve to give back to their country and their community. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for benefits such as health and life insurance, education benefits, and retirement and VA home loan benefits. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. Holidays are kids and their health. We all want them to be holly and jolly. But as ABC News correspondent Kenneth Moten explains, a new study is sounding off a warning. Visions of sugar plums and every other kind of fattening treat. With the holiday season here, children and their parents face an onslaught of treats and another easy opportunity to overeat. A new study out today predicts that if we let our children indulge and gain weight, Obesity could be an even bigger problem for them in the future. Researchers writing in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine using national data to create a model to predict how many children will be obese as adults. Their estimate, looking at kids as young as two, they predict 57% of kids and teens will be obese by the time they turn 35, a figure nearly twice the current adult obesity rate. Obese children, they say, have a much higher risk of turning into obese adults. Those risks remain for healthy weight children, too. Clearly, it's never too soon to encourage healthy diet and activity habits in kids. So give Christmas treats in moderation. And instead of sitting by the Yule log, take a stroll to see the lights. With this Medical Minute, I'm Kenneth Moten, ABC News. Now your ABC 7 First Alert Weather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Well, with this uh, winding down hurricane season, it's good that it's going to be over after tomorrow. Casey Key, flat, calm seas out there right now. You can see that uh, from 1 o'clock this afternoon, looking really good with that east wind. Uh, the water is really cleared up, too. The water has been uh, exceptional visibility near the coast, anyway, with that east wind. West wind changes things a little bit. This is the Casey Key webcam uh, showing fair skies right now with high pressure. Still dominating the weather over the southeast United States. We're seeing that easterly component which is bringing us a few showers again on that easterly wind, uh, mainly to the south and along the east coast. Not much going on here at all. You can see a little bit of rainfall there over south Florida, but uh, as I mentioned, one or two lone showers here, some false echoes out here in the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, we're looking for fair skies overnight, and there will be some areas of patchy fog developing, especially inland areas uh, tomorrow morning just around sunrise, and that could be rather thick, especially where the little brief showers have been. Uh, but temperatures tonight up until 11 o'clock will be mild to warm, really 69 degrees and fair skies at 11 o'clock tonight. And it looks as though uh, we'll see fair skies throughout the day tomorrow. Just a little bit of cloudiness around in the morning with that fog burning off. 81 degrees are current conditions. Uh, a dew point is at 62. That's pretty close to average. Northeast winds are at 12 and the pressure 30.08 inches at this point. That's high and continues to rise. Two degrees shy of the record high, 86. That was set back in 1990. And our normal high, 76 degrees. So almost 10 degrees above average today. 67 was 10, 10 degrees above the average low, which is 57 degrees. 
and we'll see another warm start for the most part tomorrow morning. Low 60s expected. We'll end this month on a dry note too with just 25 hundredths of an inch of rainfall recorded at the Sarasota Radiant Airport for the month of November and for the year we're still over 13 and a half inches above average. A bigger picture of the of future cast showing this storm system here with the frontal boundary approaching on in through Thursday, but it's not going to have a lot of impact on our weather as this takes off toward the east. We'll see uh, generally fair skies again tomorrow. There's some showers over the western Gulf of Mexico, and then here comes the front. It will move that high pressure ridge off into the Atlantic somewhat. That front, though, really doesn't have much success beating through that high pressure ridge. It will lose its identity over north central Florida on Friday and eventually fade away. Some interference with the satellite imagery on the GO-16, but we'll get move on by that. 48 degrees in Boston right now. It's 44 in Portland and 55 in New York City, 39 in Buffalo, 45 in Billings. Salt Lake City pretty cool at 49, but there's nothing extreme at this point. We are looking for much colder air to start to move down across parts of the northern Rockies uh, beginning midweek next week. Uh, 63 now in Atlanta and in Macon, it's 70 Jacksonville at 73. The GFS forecast model will show that with the uh, purple and blues uh, moving basically off to the east. Notice we'll stay in the yellows all the way through uh, Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday and Sunday. So temperatures remaining upper 70s to low 80s right through the weekend and beyond. So looking pretty good here. That colder air though will eventually start to spread in our direction. You can start to see some of those colder temperatures moving in across the central Rockies uh, on in through next week. Well, for boaters, it looks to be pretty good tomorrow again. Northeast winds turn to the north at around 10 knots. Seas will be two feet with a moderate chop out there. The water temperature at warm 71 degrees and a UV index will be a five. The extended forecast tomorrow 82, 78 on Friday. Temperature staying above average through the weekend and beyond. Here comes that stronger front come Wednesday and Thursday of next week. But until then, enjoy. Back to you. Thank you so much, Bob. Time now to check your first alert traffic for the drive home. Those accidents we told you about earlier have since been cleared up. Looks to be smooth sailing on I-75 in both directions. Americans appear ready to shop this holiday season. According to the National Retail Federation, the average person spent roughly $335 last weekend alone on gifts and other items. According to Adobe Analytics, this year's Cyber Monday was the largest online shopping day in history. Their data shows online sales jumping nearly 17 percent over 2016, with nearly $6.6 .6 billion spent overall. But other indicators like consumer borrowing on the rise, along with a slower savings rate, may suggest there may be less merry times ahead. Well, to keep up with all those online sales this week, FedEx Express says it plans to purchase 50 of Cessna's new plane. To do Tuesday, Cessna unveiled this new design for its Sky Courier. It's a small freighter and passenger aircraft. The Sky Courier can haul 6,000 pounds of cargo at speeds up to 230 miles an hour and will likely help FedEx get things from point A to point B a little faster. And this may be a good time to put your home on the market. Nationwide, more people sign contracts in October to buy homes ending three straight months of declines. That's according to the National Association of Realtors, which reports its index of pending home sales jumped 3.5% in October. On an annual basis, pending sales have fallen in six of the past seven months. Interesting. When you have less supply, you know, they sell quicker. Right. That's for sure. Well, stay with us. Entertainment news is coming up next. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7 where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Christmas tradition by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. There's there's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value, great fun. 
We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment, and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again. Naomi, my California closet designer, has been my partner in crime. She was genuinely fun to work with. We have had a ball collaborating on the eight units that we have done in our home. The closets in the house are great, but the den is what everyone comments on when they walk in the house. And it's so beautiful. They say, whoa, who did that? And I said, it's California closets. My name is Melissa, and this is my California closet story. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. The perfect musical for the holidays is live on the Player Center stage, packed with the big band sounds from World War II. The 1940s Radio Hour is our boogie woogie bugle boy answer to the holiday blues. Call the Player Center at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. The Players Wild Broadway series wishes you a Merry Christmas with the 1940s Radio Hour. The first trailer for one of the most anticipated Marvel movies of all time, Avengers Infinity War, has been released. Yeah, directed by Joe and Anthony Russo, this film features the biggest ensemble of superheroes and supervillains to date, along with a long list of A-list actors. The film sees the Avengers join forces with the Guardians of the Galaxy to fight the powerful Thanos before he destroys the universe. Avengers Infinity War will hit theaters on May 4th. Well, the excitement is rising over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's engagement. And with a royal wedding in the works, there's rising speculation about the title that will be bestowed on Meghan when she marries Prince Harry in May. So will the American-born actress be a British princess? The answer is sort of. It all depends a bit on what titles Queen Elizabeth II gives Harry and Markle on their wedding day. The speculation is that the Queen will make Harry a Duke, like his brother William, and Markle a Duchess. In that case, Markle will be known as Duchess. And their royal wedding now has a venue fit for royalty. Windsor Castle, west of London, is where the two are expected to tie the knot. St. George's Chapel at the castle is where Harry's father, Prince Charles, married Camilla Parker Bowles. It's seen as a more intimate venue than Westminster Abbey, where Prince William married Kate Middleton just six years ago. That was very fast. They got all that in the works in just a matter of a few days. I'm sure they had it planned before that, but... Well, it's coming up in right. the spring, so they don't have a lot of time yeah. to plan. We'll be right back with more news and your forecast. Stay with us.